Hey, what's up guys? Take this chance to come and study in Russia for free. It's free, yes, free. Here we go, making bully on, getting icy on, flexing. Mm, I've been serving, make it trendy, we look sexy. Here we go. Are you looking forward to study? in russia and are you looking forward to live in russia are you looking forward to get a free scholarship you know sometimes paying for school fees is hard and are you looking forward to learn a new language then this video is good for you so watch this video till the end and i hope it's gonna be important for you so if you are watching this video for the first time, ensure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if this video is nice for you, then you have to share it with your friends. So let's talk. Study in Russia. Yeah. So currently, there's a scholarship, uh, there's a scholarship to study in Russia for free. So why am I saying it's for free? It's free because they pay for your, YouTube, for your tuition fee and as a student, you have many things subsidized, so it doesn't make it that difficult. So let's study in Russia. So I'm currently living in Russia and studying in Russia, and I'm studying my master's degree in oil and gas engineering. So it has been, I've been here for the past uh, six years because I studied, I studied my undergraduate also in Russia. So. You can see what's going on. So I've made this video to show guys who are interested to come and live and study in Russia that what is it like studying in Russia. So each and every year, Russia always offers scholarship for international students. And you know, scholarship for international students, come and study. So. This scholarship is easier to get. The only thing you need to do is you need to apply for it. And to apply for it, you there's a link down in my in the description. So you open the link, follow it and up, do the applications. So the deadline is still far, maybe like in four in 11 days time. So ensure that you apply for this. So how is it like studying in Russia? Actually, studying in Russia has a lot of advantages. One, first of all, you are studying in a foreign land and in this place, you are gonna meet different kind of people and you're gonna have, a, you have gonna have a new life experience, you know, meeting new people, people who doesn't speak your language and you don't speak their language, but you are going to communicate through Russian language. So it's also an added advantage that you gonna learn Russian language and you gonna speak it and it's an advantage in your life. Not just like you came to Russia and you still speak English. It's, you are valid as a guy speaking English in Russia. But once you learn Russian language, it's gonna be easier for you to move around in Russia, make friends, find new friends, and even go for a date. So, so what's the other so what are the advantages of studying in Russia? So when you study in Russia, you are gonna study and you are studying for free. Being that you're gonna take care of yourself and accommodation is always there provided for you, of which you're gonna just pay a little amount of money. It's not expensive. You're gonna pay for your medical insurance, which is not that expensive. So with medical insurance and with your medical insurance and uh, with medical insurance and house rent or the hostel rent, you can spend up to $300 per year. And so that's one only things that after paying for that and you also have to pay for your visa, your renewal of visa. So those are the advantages of studying in Russia. So uh, another advantage is you're gonna have a, a, a foreign degree. Yeah, most, you know, in most countries, people value, uh, value that kind of degree. So you have a foreign degree. Oh my God, you have good, some good experience. How do you apply for the scholarship? 
So let's see. So scholarships are always announced every year, I think uh, at the beginning of a new year. So they are being posted and you, have, you can apply at any time. So you just go to the link I have provided down below and click the link and open it. So sometimes the link opens in, in, in Russian language, but you can translate the page and understand everything. But it depends on your browser. If your browser is in English, it's going to open it in English. So there's no worry about that. Then there are, there are so many courses that you can apply. So it depends on what you want and oh, what's your dream course or your, dream, your future profession. So I applied oil and gas engineering with mining. So that's the course I applied when I was coming to Russia and I never chose a university. But so the advantages of the advantages of, uh, of applying online is that you're going to have the university of your choice. You're going to choose the university you are going to compared to the one you are choosing, uh, you're applying from the Ministry of Education. Once you apply from the Ministry of Education, they are going to decide where to look to, to they are going to decide where to, to take you to. They find the chance, or they going to find the space in a particular university and they send you there. But if you apply online, then you're going to have the best university you want because in, you're going to choose the university you want, the course you want, and the city you want. So that's the advantage. So I was taken to Krasnodar before because I, because I didn't choose Krasnodar. I just choose, I want to study, okay, the scholarship is here, I want to study, and that's all. So that's how I got my scholarship and came to Russia. So actually, as a student in Russia, it's, uh, it's easier for you to live the life, to adapt very fast, and it's good. Then I also like to advise guys coming to Russia, stop carrying a lot of luggages. You carry a lot of luggage, you're going back with a lot of with the big bags again. If you come to Russia, just come to Russia simply. Just be simple and come to Russia and live, live your life, you know. Because each and every, we have seasons. We have the hot season, the cold season, and the mild season. So in these seasons, we have clothes to wear. So you will be buying clothes from one season to another, and they're not expensive. You can wait for the for the period where there's discount and you buy a lot of clothes and good clothes. So don't carry the clothes that you don't need. Don't carry anything that you don't need to Russia. Yeah, so that's the advice I can give you. Then in choosing the universities, so how are you going to choose a university of your choice? So first of all, get the course you want. Then Google the course, just check the course in all the universities. You get the all the universities that offer that course in Russia. And after you have identified the course you know and the universities that offer that course, then check with this university, where are they located? Yeah, because you know some guys, they always choose these universities and they find the, the good university, but they find it in a cold places like Ikutsk, Siberia. So. How are you going to survive in Siberia if you are, if you are from Africa? You, it's typically cold there. So mostly you are advised to choose the universities, more, more like universities in Moscow and St. Petersburg. Though they are cold, but they are beautiful cities, yeah? So you are advised to choose these particular universities and ensure that once as you are choosing these particular universities, they are of your choice. So once you choose, the first university is the main university where you want to go to and the main city you want to go to too. Then the second university, as they follow like that. So start with the best, the second best. Why am I telling you this? Because once the selection starts, they will send your documents to the, your first university. If your first university accepts you, then that's the end. If they don't accept you, then they send your documents again to the second choice. So you have to choose up to six universities. So imagine you, 
imagine you want to study in Moscow, right? So, like, in Moscow we have some best universities, like the University of Oil and Gas. You can come to uh, Gupkin University. You can go to uh, Rudin University and also University of Geology, that is MGRI in Moscow too. So there are also other universities like MGU, that is uni Moscow State University, is one of the best university in Russia. I think it's the best because it's just professional. You, pro if you study in this particular university direct, you get a job, but I don't know how it, how it works. Then they, there are also other, uh, other foreign universities like Skoltek, so this one you can apply and get full scholarship. But in Moscow's public universities, we don't have full scholarship because they give you tuition fee and other things are waivered. So they're, they're subsidized. So you study at a less cost and you don't pay a lot of money. So that's how things work. So. What university do you want to go to and what would you like to know more about studying in Russia? So that's it. So after you have applied for this, then you have to wait for your calling letter and get to know that all these applications, you are not required to pay. They don't, they won't ask you any money. So in case you find a site that is asking you to pay for some amount of money, then get to know that that's a scam. It's a scam, baby. That's a scam, big scam. So if you find that this particular university, or these sites are asking for you, asking for money, don't do that. So this, this is a big scam. Okay, then the other thing that you have to know that you have to apply all the documents, have to upload all your documents as required because they need to be proofread and checked and they enable that they ensure that everything is okay so what happens after you have chosen your university you have chosen the best course and now you have got a calling letter so getting a calling after getting a calling letter that's now easier you can apply for your visa getting visa is not expensive you get the visa from the embassy direct from the russian embassy that is near you so you have to do this so it's super cool it's super easier it took time and get to know that in when you want to study in russia they don't even pro, they don't provide you with air tickets so you have to buy your own air tickets okay so now you have bought your air ticket now you are in russia so in russia you have you are going to learn russian language first and after, before that, there are some processes, the registration process. There will be some guys who will be helping you around because of the language. And you have to make friends. You have to be friendly very fast so that you get guys to help you around. And you also get to acclimatize and get used to the environment. So you're going to learn the Russian language. And after learning the Russian language, then you can go to your respective universities or you can start your first year so that's how that's generally how the studies are but but there is an advantage there are some universities that offer english the studies in english language that's why i'm telling you if you happen to come to you most you have to check you have to check all these things like when you're applying for your universities you have to check that university if they have English programs. Like if you come to Riden, the friends, uh, uni the Friendship University of Moscow. So, or it, it was also called like uh, like um, Patrice Lumumba, the former year. So, you have to check all this. In part in this university, the most courses are offered in English. So, it's gonna be easier for you to study also in English. So, you have after learning Russian language, you can go to university, join university and can learn, study in Russian language, in English language. So it's added advantage. Is it not right? So this one is easier for you. So, so what else do you want to know? What else do you want to know? Then, so you have to be careful and get to know what is good for you. 
And because this is the biggest mistake I made, I, want, I would have chosen Rodin because I wanted to study my master's in English, but I wasn't that keen that they offer. Uh, I, I didn't check more information, I didn't get more information about this particular university if they had English programs. But either way, it's good university and you can choose it. Sen. Okay, so what else do you want to know? So when you are in Russia, so what makes your life easier? What makes your life easier? So what makes life easier in, most, in Russia is that you have to spend less. If you are financially independent in Russia, it's really good because you know how to manage yourself and manage your moves. So this is gonna, what, this, what's going to happen? So there are always some transport cards, cheap transport cards, like if I don't use these cards, I will spend almost 2,000, like 2,000 rubles when you are in small cities. But when you use these cards, you're going to save up to 150% of the money you're going to spend. So get to know what it requires. So make these particular things and it's going to make your life easier. Okay. Then living in Russia, you can choose the life to live. That's up to you because each and every person has its own life. So you can choose what you want and what you like. Then let's talk about why you shouldn't study in Russia. So I've told you all the benefits of studying in Russia and how to live in Russia. But there are also some difficulties to study in Russia. So one of the main difficulties studying in Russia is that it's the Russian language, man. I'm telling you, it takes time for you to adapt to this particular language, you know, to, to this language. And you learn it, but you need more time to refresh yourself and understand more. So if you are studying your uh, bachelor degree, I think it's good. But if you are coming direct to study your master's, I think it's going to be a bit tough with you. But I think... With everything I know, you will make it properly. You're going to do it. Okay. Then another thing is don't carry your mentality coming to Russia and that, that things people talk about Russia is bad. Just come and explore. That's the, that's the worst part people have in Russia. So just come to Russia and explore. Get to know what it requires someone to live somewhere and interact with people and get to know how people live in Russia. So that's all. I think. <laughs> so good to go. And for now, I'm in Moscow. So anyone coming to Moscow and needs help, please contact me and I can help you around. Maybe I won't help you find a job, but I can show you how to find a job. <laughs> yeah. I can't find a job for you because I'm also looking for that for other jobs. But I can show you how to find a job. And once you are active in this site, then you can get everything you want. So it's all about you to be active and to be outgoing guy. So that's how to live in Russia. So I hope this video is more important for you and has got some information for you. So if you really like it, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need more questions. So ask more questions. And because this scholarship is good for you, it's going to save your money. It's going to save your family from paying a lot of uh, tuition fees. So come to Russia and enjoy life. So see you in Russia. So my name is Lovi and ensure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and it's gonna be good, man. Can't wait to see you in Russia. So.